morning. I, I hesitate to interrupt all of the conversations taking place. Uh, some great booths here. Hope to make a, a little round after this. But, uh, thank you for the invitation to be here. I proudly represent the number one agriculture district in America. There we go. Does that work? The number one agriculture district in America. And so, uh, obviously, we are big fans. My constituents and I are big, there we go. Are big fans of, of biofuels. And uh, we, we appreciate that consumers have more choices as a result of the biofuel industry. Whether it's biodiesel, whether it's ethanol, uh, other products, uh, I think it's important to note that we want consumers to have as many choices for sources of energy as possible. E15 then is, is a, an important approach to that. And actually for several years, I've been working on the E15 issue uh, to to present consumers with more choices. I can tell you that it's been exciting to hear from retailers who are anxious to engage their customers uh, even more so with uh, offering their customers more products such as uh, E15. And uh, I really appreciate the stakeholders uh, with the biodiesel tax credit working together, bringing us a solution uh, for long-term policy because we know that long-term tax policy, or at least as long-term as Congress can ever deliver on, uh, that long-term policy is, is what we need to grow a more solid economy so that, there, that we can encourage investment and ultimately bring more products to consumers. So again, it's great to be here. I look forward to uh, uh, browsing the, the uh, displays here, and thank you for what you do. I appreciate it. Thank you.